Alright, so now we're going to be taking a look at the O21 section and up. This is the SSODL keys, Shell Service Object Delay Load Registry Key. And this section uh, contains values in a similar way to the run keys. So you'll notice values. The only difference that is instead of pointing to the file itself, it points to the CLSID value, which is why I showed you the CLSIDs. So we'll link to the CLSIDs. So instead of having its own value under that folder. Um, so the files loaded under this key, well, the files under this key are loaded automatically when ex by explorer.exe when your computer starts. So, let's take a look at this key here. It is going to be under hkey local machine, no. software, Microsoft, and then Windows. Let me uh, catch up with myself here. And then we have Windows. And then under Windows, we have a current version. And then under current version, all the way down to shell service object delay load. So right here we see these um, CLSIDs, which are going to point to hkey classes root, where in proc server, which is the, the kind of management, I guess you could call it, and it's going to go there where all the um, information is located. The next thing uh, is the task schedulers. This is basically any task that's scheduled, and this key is hkey local machine software, Microsoft Windows, current version, explore, shared task scheduler. And then that has values under that. And um, it is, it can be used to display uh, fake alerts and stuff. So stuff under there is not good either, as long as it's malicious. I don't want to say that everything under this key is malicious, because if it was, then they wouldn't make the key, right? So um, you got to be careful again when you look at this stuff, because half of it is usually safe, more than half. So let's take a look at the O23 section. This section is an interesting section. There's more that we can talk about on this. Let's uh, shrink some of this up, because uh, services are not loaded under this stuff. Alright, so the keys, the services are programs that are automatically loaded by Windows on startup. So they're regarded of whether or not the user logs onto the computer and tend to be used to handle system-wide tasks. So if we take a look, these are going to be HQ local machine, of course, because it's used by the whole machine. These are under system, uh, current control set, services. And these are all my services here. And if we notice, I have they have some info on, uh, on them and some more specifications on how they run. So, this is where things get interesting. The services have the same the the key here and then if we go and then this is I'll just point this out now because this is interesting you have current control set 3 and then current control set 1 these are used by last known good configuration on boot so this is backup configurations from maybe a day or so ago or whatever at last boot so this is new, and if something goes wrong here, it would revert to those previous sets of control sets, which is interesting. Um, 
and then services and then the other thing that we have going here is um I'm I c sorry about this but I'm completely blanking out and I didn't oh it's enum and then legacy Gee, this is not okay. Enum root. That's what we're looking for. And then, if you notice here, we have the same services, and they're just legacy. So this is more backups of the services you could call it, and it's just containing um, backups, basically, it's just in case kind of stuff. And it doesn't use those daily but they are there and if you need to remove malware from services manually you need to remove it from legacy too to help prevent reinfection and whatnot so I am going to stop this video and we are going to move on to more interesting things